look at this um, question again. Still under UTME CBT 2017 chemistry. But this time around, we have question 11. And the question says 10 cm cube of hydrogen was sparked with 10 cm cube of oxygen at STP. Calculate the volume of the unreacted uh, gas. So from this question now, hydrogen and oxygen, they were sparked to react, but at the end, they produced water, but not all the, the, all of the gases fully reacted, took place in the reaction. There is a law that explains this. It's known as gay lussacs law of combining what? Volume. gay lussacs law of what? Combining volume. Let me clean up. Now, the law is trying to let us know that at constant temperature and the pressure, when gases react, they are react in such a way that they combine the, their volume of combination to form a product are in simple ratios. That means the reactants are in simple ratios even when, when compared with the products. Now, let me now explain this using the question. The two gases in these questions are hydrogen and what? Oxygen. So in this reaction, hydrogen combined with oxygen, we know that, that it will yield what? Water. But, but this equation is not balanced. Look at it here. Here we have two oxygen. Here we have only one oxygen. So trying to balance this, we put two here to make oxygen two. I'm putting two here, hydrogen has become four. But here we have two, 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 two hydrogen. So we add two here to, to balance the equation. So the equation is now what? Balanced. Now, they are, they are all of the, they are, they are in, 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 in gaseous form. Now, what will happen here now? This is gas. This is gas. This is steam. So, so what, what will happen here? No, the, let me just remove, remove, remove this. Our focus is in the combining what? Volume. Now, here now, as you can see now, hydrogen combined with oxygen in ratio of two is to what? One. And when, when if you relate it to the product, it becomes a ratio of what? Two. So, reactant are in ratio of two is to one and is to two, which is the what? The product. Now, this is the ratio now. But the question says that 10 cm cube of hydrogen was packed with 10 cm cube of what? Oxygen. Now, I'm coming here now. The, the what was actually, what was, was volume of oxygen that was used was 10 cm cube. Volume of oxygen actually was was packed with oxygen. Um, hydrogen was 10 cm cube. Using Gelu Sachs law, it's trying to let us know that this hydrogen can only combine in ratio of two is to one with oxygen. So here now, hydrogen is already what here now? It's already 10 cm cube. Here now, if you like, pump in 20 cm cube here. It can never, it can never exhaust it. It can only take up one, one, the ratio of one of what oxygen for it to work. So for in, in that situation now, here, hydrogen is, 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 is two is to one. And if it's okay, let's call that one 10 cm cube. That means here we call 20 cm cube. It will not work because 
the volume that was added is just 10 cm cube, 10 cm cube. So the best thing we can do is to start from the hydrogen end. So here now we have that hydrogen is, is in 2 is to 1. So if you look at this ratio, if hydrogen is, is 10 cm cube, and hydrogen to, to ratio to oxygen is 2 is to 1. So if you set up a proportion, it will be clear that here, hydrogen here is 10 cm cube. It will be clear that oxygen here will now become what? 5 watt cm cube. This is the only thing that, that can make it to be in this ratio of 2 is to 1. And here, of course, here becomes what? 10 cm cube. Now, look, looking at this now, it's clear that only 5 cm cube of oxygen was used in this reaction. Let me clean up. Only 5 cm cube of oxygen was used in this reaction. So, if, if that is the case, let's calculate the, the, the remaining oxygen that did not react. All the hydrogen reacted, but all oxygen, only 5 cm cube because of this the ratio of its combining power, combining volume with what? Hydrogen is 5 cm cube. If you now translate it to what? Volume is 5 cm cube. So the, the remaining, the unreacted oxygen here now is 10 cm cube minus 5 cm cube, which is what? 5 watt cm cube. So the unreacted oxygen is what 5 cm cube that's the volume of oxygen that did not react 5 cm of oxygen react combined with 10 5 cm cube of oxygen combined with 10 cm cube of oxygen in which 2 is the what 1 so 5 cm cube will, will remain no matter the the volume of oxygen you pump there it can only combined with hydrogen in ratio of 2 is to 1. So set, set, setting up the, the proportion, if here is 10 cm cube, what will now be here? You, you can cross multiply. At the end, you, you have what? Let's call it x. It becomes what? That x is equal to what? You cross multiply, x is equal to what? 10 cm cube times 1, all over what? 2. And this gives us 5 what? cm cube. That is it. Admission. 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 Dear ladies and gentlemen, I bring good news. Admission into the diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician EENU Mission Hospital is on. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhD, is an accredited tertiary institution that offers students a diploma degree to work in hospitals and pharmaceutical companies in order to promote safe and effective use of medicines at grassroots level. Graduates of Pharmacy Technician School EENU who wish to study pharmacy in the university can obtain direct entry into any university of their choice. The school has a well-equipped laboratory, comfortable hostel, and a healthy refectory. The requirements for admission are credit in English, mathematics, biology, chemistry and physics. In GCE, WAEC, NECO. NABTEB are not more than two sittings. The School of Pharmacy Technician PhD, is located at EENU Mission Hospital, Agidi, Anambra State. For more information, call 0803-708-1512-0813-868-2003-0803-267-5322. Diocese on the Niger School of Pharmacy Technician. A tradition of excellence.